everyone welcome to tutorials point in this video we will learn about chemical analysis of biomolecules now we know that biomolecules are made up of organic as well as inorganic components but how do we confirm that how do we even say that biomolecules are actually present inside the cell let us see how so for analysis of organic molecules, what we do is we take a living tissue. Now this living tissue can be a plant tissue or an animal tissue like a liver tissue or a vegetable piece. We grind it in a mortar and a pestle with trichloroacetic acid. We grind it till we obtain a thick slurry. Now after obtaining the thick slurry, we pass it through a muslin cloth or a cheese cloth. Then we obtain two components after filtration. These two components are filtrate and retentate. Now the filtrate is the acid soluble portion and the retentate is one which is obtained on the top of the cheesecloth. It is the acid insoluble fraction. Let us see in this figure. The acid soluble fraction which goes down from the filter from the filter is also given a term biomicromolecules and the acid insoluble pool which is obtained on the top of the cheesecloth has been given a term biomacromolecules. We will discuss about biomicromolecules and macromolecules in the later videos. Now how inorganic components are analyzed? For analysis of inorganic components again we take a living tissue which can be animal tissue or plant tissue but preferably we take a leaf. Now with this leaf we take the weight of the leaf. This weight is known as wet weight. Why wet weight? Because here weight of water is also included in the weight. Now we evaporate the water by drying it out in an oven. Next again we wait. Now this weight is called dry weight. Now after we have taken the dry weight, we burn the tissue. Why do we burn the tissue? The reason being because here both organic and inorganic components are present but we want to analyze inorganic components so we oxidize the organic components by burning them we obtain ash now this ash contains the inorganic components like calcium phosphorus and magnesium also this is to be remembered that these inorganic components are found in the acid soluble fractions which goes in the filtrate so to wrap up we can say that the biomolecules are made up of organic as well as inorganic components the organic components can be separated using trichloroacetic acid the inorganic components can be separated by burning or destructive experiment and on the basis of separation they have been given the term biomicromolecules and biomacromolecules thank you tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.